Holy cow. Look at this guy. He's definitely way bigger than the leatherback turtles I saw in Ecuador last year that had just been born and were making their run for the ocean. He's sleepy. Just waiting on that sunset. It's gonna be a little bit better today. There's some more clouds. Meanwhile, this turtle is just living its best turtle life. Sunset so fast here. Amazing. Sunsets in Maui are a community experience. Everybody seems to come over the sunset. And that's that. Wow, like literally one minute. Nuts. area is a sea turtle nesting area so they have turtle barrier gates so that the little mama turtles well not so little I learned uh, the mama turtles don't try to cross the road because I have to imagine that would go poorly considering how slow they are what a gorgeous day here in Maui Well, they have um, a couple of little turnouts, I guess, off the main boardwalk, which is accessible, which is nice. Um, walking along the pond, and they have a stand here where they want you to take a picture of the landscape. And I guess so they get the same picture every time they want you to put it in this rectangle and then email it to them so that they can, so basically volunteers, volunteer visitors or can uh, 
help them keep track of what the wildlife refuge looks like or what the pond looks like today. Very cool. So and we learned that the uh, little black and white birds with the really long stick legs are these birds here, the ale. And our third layer is our fuel source. That third layer is foliage, but it has to be foliage just 90% water. So that way we shred it up and make a bed of it on those hot rocks, and melt and make steam, and steam is what's cooking our pig for those 12 hours. Our foliage is things like tea leaves, banana leaves, oi mosi, banana stalk, cherry chunks, 90% water, shred that up and make a bed of it on those rocks, and now melt and make steam, and cook that pig for those 12 hours. So there we have it folks, Yum. that is our kalua, pua'a, or our roasted pork. In the cavity of our pua'a, or our pig, we have some of those puka, those pohaku puka, those riverbed rocks, making sure it cooks a little bit more thoroughly inside out. On the side, we got some extra pork shoulder, pork butts for you guys. Oh and underneath, you can see all that banana stock that was melting on that riverbed rock to make all that steam so it could cook for 12 hours. So that's how we do our evil here in Hawaii. Can we get one round of applause for my brother doing all the or I think I see some whales out there all underneath the sun up above. The sun can also look like a moon, so I'll accompany it with some stars, twinkling stars, got a couple more motions, palm tree swaying in the breeze. And go ahead and pick a flower out in front of you. This is where our facial expressions can come in. Go ahead and give it a smell. Smile, make sure it smells good. Now wrap yourself with all that love and aloha and share it with everybody around you. One more round of applause. Make sure I So it's last night in Maui and we are at a outdoor luau, a traditional luau. And uh, <laughs> it's our raining a little bit, a little cloud burst. <laughs> so, they brought everybody like little ponchos to wear. <laughs> so now there's like a bunch of plastic people out here. They're hilarious. I'm like, I'm gonna put the poncho over my beer, frankly, because this is like water and that shit. Damn. Yeah. No, no. Hey, Kaului Airport. Mer adventure over. This has been an amazing week. Oh my god. Maui is just gorgeous. 
The people are super nice. The food is incredible. I am so glad I got the opportunity to come here. Man, I don't even care that I was like fourth person on the list, like fourth string pick to come on this trip. I do not care. I could have never afforded to take this trip on my own. So I'm super grateful to my old buddy, Paul, who uh, kicked down this trip and, and allowed me to be here. And also, of course, his roommate, Charlie, who uh, donated the timeshare for us to stay in. Just fantastic trip. I cannot recommend coming here enough if you're able to. Like Maui or Hawaii in general was just never on my list as a place to come because I knew how expensive this place was and I figured I'd never be able to afford it. But now that I've been here, I probably started saving pennies. See, when, when, I, when can I get back here? Because I could have spent easily another couple of weeks, a month, whatever. I just really enjoy being in the tropics and it's the closest to my ancestral homelands I've ever been. One of these days, I'll get to Samoa. At any rate, we're going to go get violated by TSA and make our way to the gate. Next, see you the next adventure.